Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. First things first, I want to apologize for mislabeling um, episode 118 as a Jade Falcon Freeborn episode. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure what happened there, but I got confused as to what I was doing, I guess. And anyway, I mislabeled it. But it's labeled properly now, so 118 is uh, um, there if you missed it for whatever reason. Um, so this is episode 119. And... What I've planned on doing is I'm going to end the series uh, at episode 120, and then I'll have another episode after that, 121, which will be the same for both Night Witches and Jade Falcon Freeborn, where we compare the mech pilots um, and just kind of do a comparison as to number of kills, number of missions, kind of get a ratio going to see who was the best pilot and things like that. So we'll just do a comparison episode after that. Um, but right now, what I've got planned, so we're still at the same planet. Let's have a look at the contracts. Um, we've got uh, Hell, of the, Hell of the Beast, which I'm not going to take because i got a feeling if we go against the Raxilna, he's going to wreck a bunch of our mechs, and I really don't want that at this point because with two episodes left uh, and the last episode, I've kind of already got planned. So we've got a um, Grim Dark Flashpoint that's 42, uh, 42 days before expiry and it's 40 days away it's a five skull mission it's long with consecutive deployments now i'm planning on doing something very similar with jade falcon freeborn where we're going to take on a um, a flashpoint for the last episode and this one will be uh, all in one episode so however long it takes it's all going to be one big episode until the end uh, so i want to have as many max ready to go for this as possible it is 40 days away so we have time to do a bit of repairs but not a lot of time so i don't want to get mechs too trashed before we go there and I think if we go against the Raxilla all it would take is for me to make a, a drastic error or the Raxilla to get into a uh, visual range of somebody and that'll be it right so as much as I want to go ahead and, and do that mission I'm just going to forgo it for now um, or for the rest of the series that is so uh, but we do have other contracts we can take now let's if we have a look at the mech base real quick we've got all of our mechs back so we've got at least three lances of mechs plus one. The cataphract I did outfit, um, and I wanted to do something a little different with this guy. What I ended up doing was putting the arrow four in one arm and the thumper artillery in um, the torso here with a couple of ER medium lasers as backup. Uh, it's set up with full armor on the front and everything and an indirect fire cockpit, which gives us plus four to indirect fire. I didn't have really much left for this type of missile mech, but you know, once it's up and running, it'll... Uh, be at least some destabilization fire support depending on how tricky that last mission is going to be or the last episode is going to be we will have that in play at that point so that's going to uh um hopefully be advantageous i'm probably probably going to run it in the very first mission we take because i got a feeling the very first mission will be a difficult one so we'll run this guy first um, and we'll use the uh, bigger boys to rip apart the mechs that this guy knocks over or destabilizes. But that's the plan for that mech. But right now, let's have a look at the contracts. So we do have does his own stunts, and we've got nipped in the bud as well. Ambush convoy. This is a uh, against Draconis combine. I mean, generally I wouldn't take these, but you know we're at the end of the uh, the season right now, so we'll take both of these. We're going to do he does his own stunts first. Let's negotiate this sucker. We're going to go full salvage on it see what we can get out of it. Actually, you know what? Um, we're going to need sea bills. To, ah, we're fine. Let's go full salvage. I was going to say we need sea bills to jump. We need at least one month's financial report. Plus, we'll need money to repair stuff. But we got tons of stuff to sell if we need to. So I'm not worried about that. Okay. So let's have a look here. Um, this lance looks pretty good. But we're going to just go with the main lance. It's most likely going to be um, 10 to 12 mechs we're facing. So let's make sure we have the ability to handle that without a problem. So i okay, got to remember now what we have here again. So we've got a Rack 10, or a Rack, sorry, Rack 2 Ultra 10, Rack 2 Ultra 5, right. This was the heavy fire support mech. And then we got the Basilisk that's all missiles, correct? Correct, Swarm Thunder, LK. Timberwolf Z, which was the standard loadout. Our Marauder has a Rack 5 on it, correct? Yeah, and a PPC. This guy's got the two Ultra 20s, right? So I think we're going to gonna we're gonna want to go this route. Let's actually... 
put them all over there. So Baba Yaga, um, yeah, uh, Chupi, um, Hot Dam, and Megasaur. I think we'll run. We want to go ballistic or missile? Let's go with missile. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. And we'll go Grasshopper and Black Knight. Because these two run really well together. This is a close range. I mean, I guess the other... The indirect fire support, I think, will be needed, I think. So let's take this. Let's deploy. All right. All right, Brock line hands way back there, which means we need to push these guys up here first and wipe them out. We're going to have a second lance coming from this side, so we got to crush these guys as fast as we can. Take them out and get to the evac zone. Yeah, well, you got that right. Um, so we got to, yeah, like I said, we got to crush the guys here fast because it'll be four on four for the first bit, and then we'll have another lance coming in. I think they come from this direction, and then the main guys back there. All right, well, let's get started. We can jump now. Not that we're gonna, but we could. Double time, let's go. All right, let's not get too close. Let's just shoot the hill here. Affirmative. All right. TSM is on and ready to go. Mm, that's up on a hill. Let's not end there. Let's end here in the trees. Okay. Going to move on to this side. I wonder, you know, it's interesting. I'm thinking about saving the thunder ammo for um, for when Brock Lanahan is, is seen. And maybe we can wipe his legs out. Uh, let's reserve this. Okay, we got our bogey catapult. Yes, Commander. Acknowledged. Oh, we got eyes on already. A mauler. Can we get a tag on him? Copy that, Commander. Nope. Okay. See if we can spot anybody else. Nope. Okay. Um. We got more swarm than anything. This guy is out in the open. Let's take a shot at him. Soften him up a bit, little bit. Now, do you have... God, you don't quite have enough speed. Okay. Going full throttle. Rudder 2 and a Blackhawk, eh? Ah, nice. One hit. Okay. What the hell is that? Orca. Ah, uh, Commander. Really? You don't have any. No, you don't have any. You don't have anything we can use. Just get closer. What's up, boss? Oh.
Come on, baby. Let's get that CT. Roger that. Targeting for physical attack. See ya. Hostile removed. It's very rare that you don't remove a hostile. Okay. Crapple Polk moving forward. Yep. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Waiting for orders. Okay, mask on. That's out of range with the flamers, really? Really? Alright, well, uh, let's switch this over to acid and hopefully we get one hit here. Confirmed. Well, we got the tag on. Okay, let's shred this cat crap a pult here. We are going to confirm this and fire. Enemy max critical damage detected. Standing by. That's actually a pretty good chance to hit there. We shall take those. I'm gonna warlord this. Give us a little better chance to hit. And firing. firing. Ooh, two hits, okay. Now, it said he was supposed to have two full lances, but I'm only seeing 200 ton orca. Okay, interesting. Maybe that's why we're only seeing one lance here. Good luck. I'm receiving you. Shut him down, shut him, shut him down, shut him down. Engaging target. Well, not quite enough. I should just send Megasaur after that Orca. BHKU zero. Is it a zero or D zero? Come on, figure out what you're doing. Yeah. Pulse lasers at low level work fantastic, but at this level, not so much. Ah, God, I don't want to go from the side. I don't want that guy shooting me in the back. I don't know if he's got artillery back there or what. 415 and the guy survived. He's unsteady. Now, did we CT this guy? We certainly did. Ha! <laughs> He's got almost nothing left. Not even worth shooting at. Uh, did we lose that guy? He's still there. I guess he's out of my range. Out of my range. Alright. Hammer him. Now you know what a missile mech looks like. What are you running? Ultra something or other. Sounded like a 20. Ready for orders. Roger. 
Let's just finish this guy if we can. Oof. It looked like a headshot, but it wasn't. This guy's all yours. Position confirmed. Putting my weight into it. Bye. Hostile eliminated. Commander? All right. Bar, B, Q. See ya. Killed by flamers. Ah, damn it. You know what I missed? I missed my Black Hawk Down joke. I was gonna hit. <laughs> when I saw it was a Black Hawk, like, oh, I could just say Black Hawk Down when he goes down, and I just completely missed it. Oh well. Alright, uh, let's hammer this guy. Put some thunder on him. Sniper artillery. Ah. You want thunder? I'll give you thunder. You don't have a 100-ton Orca on your uh, list of kills yet, Megasaurus, so I think you're going to have to uh, see if you can kill that guy. Let's get some speed back. Failed to connect. I'm here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let's make sure that's off. Ten four. Just gonna walk it up. Two reasons: I want my stability back and uh, better chance to hit firing. Yes, Commander. You gotta get up here as fast as you can, because I got a feeling those Ultra Twenties are gonna be needed. Okay. Target confirmed. Keep yourself nice and toasty. That's a miss. Stand in by. Okay, I want you to vigilance because you, my dear, sorry to say, you are the one that has to go has to go in first. Got it. Full speed, no target. But be happy with the fact that fact in knowing that without you, Megasaur would not be able to score a good kill here. Alright, let's drop some missiles on this guy. I'm totally glad this guy doesn't have two full lances with him. Long range missiles depleted. Mm -hmm. What's up, boss? Where do I want you? Probably down the same path. Okay, girl. Look at this thing. Jesus, he's taking a lot of damage to the legs, but not anywhere near enough. Uh... Inferno, Acid for sure, Warlord confirm. All right, let's hit him. Okay, we got Acid on him. Sad thing though is he's standing in the water. Oh, we can get him from behind. Not in minefield range. Make sure the flail's on. 
Fingers crossed, guys. Got it. Come on, girl. You got this. Look at the tiny she is. Oh, yes! Beautifully done. She looks like an elemental compared to like a Big Mac. Yeah, finish it up. Tango down. You got that right. Mission successful. All right, three hundred thirty-five thousand. So the battle between Megasaur, she got three kills in this one, and uh, Mockingbird is real now. I I I know roughly how many kills each one is has. Um, and it's not like I'm trying to get one more kills over the other. Um, they, they're both actually really close together. So you'll get the chance to see that in the last episode. Make sure you turn in, tune in for 121 because that'll be a good one. Um, what do we want here? Anything? God, there's really nothing. Um, I don't even think the swarm ammo is like... You know, I don't know. Like, there's no cores here. Ultra 20 is worth how much? 500,000. Oh, heavy PPCs are worth... Yeah, 780. We'll take those. ERs are worth 930. Okay. Let's take both ERs. Because we're going to sell these. Uh, this guy's worth 330. Goss, 1.3. Alright. It's worth more than that. think that's about it let's just confirm this all right we got the orca part not that it matters our two part and three blackout parts okay cool all right 28,000 not bad come on all right, as we load up for this next one, I just want to uh, throw a shout out to uh, Fists of Dorn. Came up with a really great idea um, for the next series that's actually going to be um, uh, with the new version of Rogue Tech. What I'm planning on doing is um, basically having two um, congruently running games, but actually have them, like we're saying that both Lances are going to, or both companies or whatever, are going to be on the same Argo. So I'm going to be running them parallel with each other um, in kind of like a story format. So um, with that being said, uh, Fist of Dorn, because because it's we're going to be clans, but we're going to be deep in um, inner sphere space when we start, um, he had the great idea of kind of doing like a behind-the-scenes look at how I get everything set up before the actual... Um, uh, game starts because it's going to take me a while to get everything set up. I got to move from like before we I even start the episodes and stuff. I don't want to do any game playing before the first episode. So I've got to move from clan space to the inner sphere. And that's a long way to go down the Exodus Road. And it costs a lot of cash. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, I've already got it figured out how it's going to happen. Unless they change some stuff. Um in the upcoming version of Rogue Tech, uh, what I've got planned is no problem to pull off. Uh, we'll have the C-bills. We'll be able to do what we need to do. Um, the trickiest part will be managing pilots because I have to have all inexperienced pilots with except for uh, one. Um, so that's going to be tricky to do. But I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Um, I'll show you how I start each of the two games and get everybody to where they need to be so that we can run them congruently with each other. Um, but yeah, so everything is going to be double cost. So for instance, Argo upgrades, both units have to buy an Argo upgrade at the same time. So if we're going to upgrade the Argo, both units have to be doing well. Um, things like that, right? Unfortunately, we won't be able to share equipment back and forth. And I, I haven't really thought of a plausible reason why we wouldn't be able to yet. But I mean, obviously in game terms, you can't. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to handle that. I'll have to figure that out. But I mean, it's just one of those minor things that we can't, you know, um, I, you know, we won't be able to figure that out. But anyway, uh, yeah, so that's kind of what I've got planned. But yeah, once again, I just want to thank Fist of Doran for giving that idea of kind of doing behind the scenes because I was actually going to do, um, I was actually going to do, um, as I'm talking and trying to do stuff at the same time. And you know how well I am able to do that. Um, 
Let's just do this first before we... Uh... Okay, um, I was actually going to um, just have that at the beginning of the first episode. But what I think I'll do is I'll just kind of do a behind the scenes, put it together, and then, you know, on one of those evenings where I might not be able to post something, I'll just post it uh, so you guys will get a chance to see how I got it, like, technically to where it starts off. And then I can just start the story out right off on episode one. You won't have to worry about how I got there or what the settings are or any of that stuff. Um, I won't have to explain everything or any of that stuff. It'll, we can just start off with the story and start going right from there, which is, I think, a fantastic idea. So, once again, thank you. All right, so let's get this going. This is a Three Skull Ambush Convoy. It's supposed to be a mech, a group of mechs that we're going after, but I don't think we really need to go crazy with... Um, Defiance has got the double PPCs in the Rack 5, right? We don't need to go crazy with what we have. Hellbringer for speed of sound, Sonic for sure, and we'll bring the Archer. Sure, why not? I think this will do. Let's just deploy. Alright. They're coming straight at us. Alright. It's going to be a firepower versus firepower straight up battle. So... I'm going to only walk for this first bit. Stay a little bit behind the hill. Get into some trees. I don't know what we're up against. It, I mean, it's only three skulls, so it can't be that terrible. Uh, let's put you here. Yes, yeah, so I'm re I know I've said this multiple times, but I'm like super excited for the new series. I think it's going to be kind of cool. Now, it's not going to be canon, obviously. Um... But it'll be close enough. I mean, I mean, Rogue Tech can only be so close to canon, right? Like, I mean, not everything's not going to be accurate, but the fact that, it, you know, it's player, um, the map is basically player-shaped is really, really cool. Um, so, you know, I think in the end, I think it'll be kind of nice. All right, let's just move up slowly. Moving to position. Our target is within sensor range. Why do we have vehicles guarding mechs? Urban mech, huh? Well, okay. Oh, I'm complaining. Freaking Alicorn, man. At least he's facing the other way. Let's hammer him. Okay. Bunch of damage. Bunch of damage. Nobody's as fast as the speed of sound. Sonic! Oh boy, here we go. Oh boy, here we go. Um, ooh, dead fire is really bad, eh? Let's drop these two as acid. Hopefully we get some hits on them. Let's go. Okay, we got some acid on. Nice. Gauntlet, eh? Yeah. I'm okay. Be worse if he actually hit you. Okay. Well, Diva, it's going to be missile carrier versus missile carrier. They got a couple. It's all up to you. Ah, thank God. I hate those three Goss rifled alicorns. They're almost as bad as the Shreks. But the Shreks really, in this game, aren't that dangerous. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're, they're still tough, but they're not as dangerous. Let's get into here. Everything on this guy, please. And firing. Come on, finish him up. There you go. That's a kill. Oh, wait, is that the, um... Yeah, that's the Venerable Bishop Steiner kind of whatever guy, I think, isn't it? Let's drop some missiles on this carrier. 32%, huh? 23 on that one. 21, 26. All right. Let's just fire. Fire. 
All right, Gauntlet's next. Don't worry, Speed of Sound Sonic's got gotcha. you. We'll last set him up and finish him off. We're going to have to move to the left here. It's an LRM carrier, eh? Oof, they don't like you. I think they probably, uh... Oh, somebody's using mines, eh? Uh, what's the dead fire chance? 29, eh? Let's go dead fire and acid. Uh, I'm going to warlord this just to get some better chances to hit here. God, it's still a hell of a lot of damage, even with all those misses. Okay, I want you to vigilance so we can lose the instability and get up here. Hopefully that Irby doesn't get a chance to see you. And let's not swarm this because, you know, drinking self-damage would be bad. I don't think we will, but you never know. Firing. Yeah. Have a seat. Alright, get some speed. I don't want to get out of the, uh... Roger that. Don't want to be in the sight of that Bishop Steiner guy. Really? Right, because... Yeah. Actually, is the rack cooler? It's a little cooler, isn't it? Let's go this... Oh, man, I don't want to jam it. Let's go this route. Okay, nice shot. Or nice shooting, I guess. Standing by. Yeah, just hang out here. You don't have to move. Let's hit this guy. Firing. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! Solid connection on that one. I know it's an SRM carrier, but... Whatever. Nobody's as deadly as speed of sound. Sonic! Want to go head to head? Let's go head to head. Up for what it's, worth. it's worth a lot if you kill him. If you don't kill him, not so much. Don't think you kill him this way, though. Let's fire. Hey. Certainly softened his ass up, though. Commander? Okay. Ooh. Hitting each leg. Good thing he's slow. Yeesh. So weird that the Hellbringer kind of goes under the radar in most uh, battles. She's kind of up front, for but it just kind of goes, like, under the radar. I don't know why, because maybe just because it's running SRM6s, or I have no idea. All right, let's try and finish this guy off. Oh! Shredded! Where are the reinforcements? Oh, down here. What do we got? Urban mech. Urban mech? Urban mech. You need more than urban mechs, guys. Border? Like, honestly. Border received. Honestly. Let's dump some missiles on this guy again. Come on, there you go. Cratered him. Reporting. 
This is a bit overkill, but you know. Not many rather missions on this planet. Stop taking damage. We need that mech. It's got to be in tip top shape for the next battle. Or the next episode, that is. Nobody kills vehicles as effectively as speed of sound. Sonic! Moving to position. Hammer him. Oh, bye bye. I thought we were gonna, you weren't gonna kill it for a second there. Well, another missile carrier back there, huh? Interesting. Moving to position. All right. Um, let's. Well, man. Big difference, eh? Let's do the rack off. Okay. Oh, we got another mech down here. Another urban mech. Ready for orders. It's the Irby Patrol. On my way. Wow, really, eh? Wow. Really? Cratered him. You got that right. Okay, direct fire inside. That's his AC side. Wow. Dude, you need some speed. See ya. Enemy down. Yes, Commander. Roger. You sent Urban Max to a real mech warrior battle. All right, firing. Oh. Under strength at that at that too, right? Oh, no. Alright, this guy up here is yours. Copy. He's standing in the spores. Here it comes. Oh, he survived. Going down though. Yeah, he's got an AC twenty. Waiting for orders. On my way. Let's uh, give this guy some facial reconstruction surgery. Oh, here it comes. Wait, what was that that he had on him? Howitzer 2000? The hell's that? He's just pissing her off. I'm here. He's all yours. Oh, I think that's enough. Enemy down. Okay, let's go. Commander? Uh, no, you need to uh, let D.Va have a shot at finishing our, finish this and this guy up. It was her mech. Good to go. Alright, your chance to finish him up. Out. Here it comes. See what we can do. 99% chance to hit. See ya! Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> it sure is. Mission successful. All right, contract payment increased by 35%, which is more than enough for repairs. Nice, uh, nice um, kill spread all around here. Excellent. Uh, River Mac Pirate. Wow, they're all different versions, eh? Uh, these ones were worth 1.2. Don't think there's going to be anything down here that we want. Tagger. Oh, the core. If you want sea bills, it's a little better. Where are you? There you are. Excel engine. That's a little better. Let's grab that. And there's nothing really else here that I can see right away. What else we got down here? Reinforced leg, eh? Got two of those already. Sensor missile range, we already got that. Uh, yeah, I don't think see anything here that we actually need right away, so let's just confirm this. Alright, couple, couple of urban mech parts, gauntlet part, meh. Eh, junk. Okay. 123,000 repairs, eh? Alright, well keep forgetting some of our mechs have got uh, improved armor and stuff on so it always costs way more but no big deal time wise there's no problem getting everything back uh, but let's have a look here there's one contract left it's like a two and a half skulls pulling linchpin is what a capture base so uh, let's negotiate this Go this way, and we're going to run with. Only got what? We got three pilots left, right? Sheet metal, cloud, slim. Might as well get some XP. Let's pull the archer out. Now we've got a cat. It's a capture base, right? So let's go with cataphract. Marauder and the Archer. Let's go that way. Well, you know what? The Orion hasn't seen battle today, so let's go this route. It's two and a half skulls. I mean, how difficult can it really be? Command interface initiated. Okay, let's capture this outpost. Ah, yes, reminiscent map. All right. Let's just get up here and do this. Understood. Moving fast. Yes, Commander. Yeah, these pilots, I mean, these guys haven't done much at all in the series. Yep. The last two pilots here were just kind of uh, pickups as we were expanding a number of mechs. The having backup mech pilots was uh, kind of needed. Sheet Metal was going to be the backup to, um, to uh, Megasaur. Sort of the melee mech pilot for the second lance, which we never ended up. We never ended up running a second melee mech. So, all right, what are we looking at here? Blackjack. There's a couple standard turrets, hardened turret. Okay. What do you need? All right, Slim. Going full throttle. Slap into a Slim Jim Phoenix Hawk. Now I think we go after the turret. Soften it up a little bit, anyway. Yes, Commander. Moving out. You need to secure the area. Oh, please stop. I'm still seeing hostile contacts on screen. Honestly, how are we supposed to secure it if we don't move up? Locking up. Ooh, okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, Christ. we got a lot of guys here. Drillson SRM. No idea what that standard turret shot. Hardened LRM turret, eh? A couple of them are LRM 20s. 
That's a lot of twos, but no big deal. This guy's got a couple of how howitzers, eh? How does the howitzer have armor-piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot ammo? How the hell does that have that? It's basically a um, superior armor piercing round. Um, okay, well. Let's just remove it. That turret is gone. Usually APF SDS rounds are, are for uh, um, tanks and other direct fire units. At least that I know of, anyway. Um, we don't have multi-target. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, let's shoot this turret. Attacking from well, you softened up two turrets. Nice. Waiting God, these guys order. can't even see us. Moving to position. Oh, you can't even multi-target. Nobody can multi-target! Ah. Let's... Oh, man, really? It's like, I almost feel like... That's another howitzer turret. I feel like I'm wasting ammo shooting on a turret like that. I know I'm not really, but... I need you to knock that turret off. All right, see if you can get this last turret. Leave the ER mediums off. Let's dial the rack down to like three, I think. On. There you go. Nicely done. Target destroyed. I mean, we're all in OP max, but whatever. OP for this, this rating anyway. Saladin. That guy's got to go. Oh, you're brave. Standing by. You are Thank certainly you. brave. And firing. Can't see the Phoenix Hawk, eh? Um. Let's do this. And let's dial it up. Let's go after this blackjack. He barely moved. Nice. Yeah. On it. Shoot the turret. Okay, confirming turret kills. Hit him hard. Do the math. One less turret. Math has been done. Good, we need more salvage. On the move. All right, hammer him. Nice. Scored a critical hit. He goes on what, 16? Okay, javelin. There we go. Now we can see the Phoenix Hawk. This Marauder does run hot, but it is effective. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice shooting. Let's 
So Slim's going to shoot here for the uh, Black Hawk or the, uh, or sorry, the Phoenix Hawk or the uh, Black Jack. Depending on which mech um, is more in her sights. It looks like... They've got a lock on me. Going to go to the Phoenix Hawk, it looks like. Because we go before he does. He's unstable too, so that's the reason why we'll go after him. It's easier to hit. Yeah, this Orion, I hate this loadout. It's just so underwhelming. I mean, it's good for, for pilots like this to take on medium X with. But if you're fighting heavy or assault max, it's just a really bad loadout. I just wanted to try something different, you know? Yep. There we go. All right, full speed. I mean, I guess we could pull the LRMs off this guy. We got Thunder Incendiary and Normal. All right, firing. Just knock him over? Wow, you got him. Nice. Mech destroyed. We'll take it. Not going to say no to that. Oh, I'm going to need a medic. Calm down. Everybody's taking a head hit at one point or another. Good to go. Let's cool off by stepping on this guy. Affirmative. Come on, make sure you get him. Oh, for crying out loud. I don't even know if I tagged him. No idea. Oh, yeah, we did. Good. Detected times two. What do you need? All right, Slim, you got to kill this guy. Um, we better fire everything. <laughs> Okay, good stuff. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Don't feel like taking 100 points damage. Yeah, the weapon the weapon systems in this game compared to the tabletop version, that 100 and the or the, the 20 points damage, yeah, it's dangerous in the tabletop version, but here the 100 is like super dangerous. Come on. Finally getting them SRM2s into play, eh, buddy? Good damage, though. Losing lots of armor. Yeah, he's hitting you pretty hard. Thirty-four percent chance to step on that guy, and really great chance to shoot him in the ass. So we're shooting him. Let's leave the rack off. Too hot with two mediums. Let's go. Uh, yes. We see got in the back here. Ninety, eh? I think it's better to go with the rack. Let's go this route. There we go. See, at the same weight, the Marauder over the, um, over the Orion is a huge difference. Ready for orders. On my way. I heard a vehicle back there. I have no idea where it is. Let's just, uh, strip this guy of whatever he's got left. We can. Nope. Inflicted some heavy damage. I'm here. All right, hammer him. Okay, cool. See ya. Wonder if our rack is jammed.
Well, it looks like it's still going. How much are we take in the head? Ooh. Champion, eh? Receiving you. This is turning out to be a actually a half decent match. Just fire the two PPCs are the best chance to hit. Ooh. All right. Reporting negative damage. Receiving you. We have no need to engage at close range on these guys. Roger. Painter hit. That hit something good. So a slightly better chance to hit. Not by much, but a slightly better chance. Cloud's gonna need all help she can get. Aye, aye. Huh. Only two rounds of LRMs left. Firing. Well, we got the incendiaries left, but I don't want to use those until somebody's close to overheating. That vehicle back there somewhere. Sounds like it's heavy too because it's moving really slow. Really great chances to hit. Let's just use the PPCs. I don't want to overheat until we can get a good shot at them. Wow, you missed with both. Failed to connect. I saw that. Okay, Javelin's slowly making his way back here. Yeah, you're putting yourself in a position to get your ass killed. They got some pretty good speed though. Okay, just gonna walk it to here. Yeah, we got eyes on now, so let's hammer them. Oh. Solid connection on that one. Standing by. Lost evasive. See if we can finish them up with all these 99% chances to hit. Yes. Target destroyed. <laughs> I love that secondary explosion. Oh, it's a vedette. Awaiting orders. Sure. Let's get it up and fire. Yes, nice. And a scorpion back there. Commander. Stay in the trees. Trees are superior ablative armor. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, come on, we just gotta hit a CT. You've got the pulses. Receiving you. Racks jammed, eh? Still though. Good chances to hit. Um gonna take it. Oh my god. Reporting critical hit. Thought maybe he was gonna go down there for a second. All right, Slim, he's all yours. Might as well use the uh, the Thunder Improved. Copy that. Or Incendiary, that is. Is he going down? Uh huh? How much do you got left in his CT? <sighs> I 
I didn't think I need to do a call shot on that. I guess I did. Armor holding. Ready for orders. Yeah, vehicle's yours. Um, how much are we over by? Well, all right, that solves the problem. Moving to position. All right, see if we can get this vehicle. Yep, fire it all. Really? Solid connection, that one. It was, but not enough. Yeah, this guy's got like nothing left. Reporting light damage. Confirmed. All right. Yeah, might as well drop some. Roger. Oh, I was going to say, I might as well drop some mines over there. Mech destroyed. Waiting for orders. Sure. Copy that. I think I hit something good. I think you did too. Standing by. See if we can finish this guy up. Okay, I'm on it. Yes. Vehicle trash. Awaiting orders. Ah, racks down. Oh well. Yep, yeah, let's go this route. Ooh, nice done. Nicely, nice done. Nicely done. Nice done, you killed them. Alright, let's get this base captured and we can get out of here. Receiving you. Who's gonna cap the base here? Aye aye. Going full throttle. Reporting. Throttle at full. Standing by. There it is. There it is, folks. That one took a little longer than expected, but it was actually pretty good for two and a half skulls. I'm here. It would have been a nice mission if we were a, a two and a half skull unit, because that those champion parts would have been really nice. Mission successful. Yeah. Okay. Contract increased by twenty percent. Ooh, slim man, eight kills. <laughs> the sheet metal didn't get any. Oh my god, eight kills. Good job. And here I said the Orion was crap, but it's like doing all the killing. That was I thinking. I mean, it does have a better chance to hit, I guess. How much is this thing? Five hundred eighty thousand. I guess it doesn't really matter anymore. Um. Sure. Uh, what do we got here? Now, I don't know if we've got other Phoenix Hawk pieces, but let's grab three. We might be able to make a Phoenix Hawk. It's unlikely, but you never know. One, two, three, four, five. Five Phoenix Hawk pieces. Okay. Bunch of medium lasers and SRM2s. Oh boy. Okay, 42,000. That's not too bad. All right, well, we got a lot of work to do. I'm going to organize the bays here. Um, Cloud over for 15 days. Should be back for the main battle. Looks like we'll have everything back without an issue. Financial report, 24 days. 
we didn't lose any components. I'm not worried about the mechs. We'll have them all back. We're going to make the jump. Um, we do have enough sea bills. Should be no problem. I'll just sell, sell off a bunch of junk just to make sure we've got enough. Uh, plus, we'll have some rep for repairs if we're able to do that um, in the next little bit uh, or the next uh, um, flashpoint. I, I know it's consecutive missions, yes, but there might be a bit of space between all of them. Uh, between the final ones, so we might be able to affect some repairs. So I want to make sure we have sea bills for that. All right, so I'm going to leave the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.